Morning, Agent. And it actually is morning, too. Good timing. Your vitals look good enough. How about you try and sit up for me? <sighs> How long? Well, you missed Santa. Not that there was much to miss. And the following weeks, too. I've been out for a month? And change. Yeah, you're damn lucky Dr. O'Neill was there when they fished you out of the water. It'll be a while before you're fully recovered. But better you get back on the horse than lie around here. Besides, we need the bed. They put what they could salvage of your gear in storage. Might want to pick that up first. And then Fei Lao wants to see you over in Ops. It's not over, you know. Not by a long shot. You'll have your hands full. Look who's up and about. How are you feeling, Agent? A little sore. <laughs> yeah. Candle told me they plucked enough shrapnel out of you to fill a bucket. I'm Agent Fei Lao, Acting Division Commander in Midtown. What's the situation? Hmm. <sighs> Better than it was, but far from good. First wave agents like you are now a rare breed. Most are either MIA, KIA, or Rogue. Chief Meyer? KIA. Commander Chang? KIA. I was there. Damn. Not long after you were injured, many first wave agents were lost in the Dark Zone. HOTUS activated a second wave in early January. We've been fighting to regain control of Manhattan ever since. Our biggest headache was a PMC called the Last Man Battalion. Their leader, Charles Bliss, had a pretty messed up idea of what the future should look like. But we eliminated that threat. When the guards abandoned Rikers Island, the prisoners escaped. They were wreaking havoc on the city. When we took out their leader, Loray Barrett, they scattered. Not many of them are left in Midtown. The JTF is planning an assault on one of their last strongholds in Clinton. We also had the cleaners to contend with and their boss, Joe Farrow, the one obsessed with cleaning the city of the virus. Happy to torch anything and anyone standing in their way. We dealt with them too, for the most part. And then, there's the asshole who caused all of this. The Variola Chimera, better known as the Green Poison Virus, was engineered and released by a deranged professor named Gordon Amherst. He had some sick notion about using natural selection to save humanity. His virus would weed out the weak. Amherst is no longer a threat. He was killed by his own creation. We recovered his research, and Dr. Candle says we're close to developing a vaccine. You said agents have gone rogue? You mean they betrayed us? It's not something we like to advertise. The Alpha among them is Aaron Keener. He's still at large. In summary, the situation isn't good, but it's not as bad as it was. There are bands of Rikers still around, but it's been a while since we saw any cleaners and whatever remains of the LMB. On a happier note, I'm sure you'll be glad to know that the civvies you got out of Chinatown are alive and well. They're building a settlement here. I'm sure they'd appreciate any assistance you can give them. You might even run into an old friend or two. Things are better, but the streets aren't exactly safe. Before you head out, make sure your kit is fully stocked. Good luck out there, Agent. I'll be here, trying to keep this operation from running off the rails. If you need anything, 
you know where to find me.
supplies claim successful. to the left. There! Kevin, look! Hello, Kevin. You know my name? But... Wait. It's you! Get in, Angela. We have an honored guest. Welcome to the Spring Blossom Settlement, Agent. Come. Aunt Angela will be glad to see you. Well, hello! Welcome, Agent. Good to see you all made it. All thanks to you and Agent Kelly. I understand things have been rough. It's been a dark winter. After you got us out of Chinatown, we spent a week at a refugee camp at Washington Square. That place was terrible. Yes. Conditions there were... abysmal. When I suggested to Fei Lao that we build the settlement, she heartily endorsed the plan. So now we're building a new home where everyone is welcome. Spring is coming. Hope has been rekindled. Looks impressive. We've had plenty of support from the JTF and the Division. But for the most part, we've built everything ourselves. A lot of skilled people pitched in. Why not have a look around? And then we can talk more afterwards. Thank you. I will. Not bad, huh? And we've only been at it for a few weeks. What do you do for food? This bridge leads to our rooftop stockpile. And then we got the greenhouse set up beyond that. Moss has gotten all sorts of crops going already. Moss? Our handyman. He set up the power grid, the fresh water system, everything. I only wish Aunt Angela cared more about protecting it all. Yeah, I haven't seen much security. Exactly. My aunt feels we should convey a welcoming image. Diffuse tensions and crap like that. I want a machine guns by the gate. Those searchlights are it. Has the city gotten safer? Not really. Anyway, I need to hook up those searchlights to the grid. Catch you later. Hey, what do you think? It's amazing what you've accomplished so quickly. Quite something, isn't it? We get new arrivals every day. We even got our own school. One of the teachers is an NYU professor. Now he's doing elementary school. The kids love him. Many orphans? <sighs> Too many. Anything we can do to restore a sense of normalcy and stability to their lives. That's why I don't want armed people everywhere. How can we ever hope to rebuild if we just perpetuate the idea that we're living in some post-apocalyptic nightmare? Sorry, no offense. I understand that exceptions have to be made. None taken. But I gather you and your nephew don't agree on this. If Kevin had his way, this place would be bristling with guns. I want us to be a beacon of hope, not some nuclear bunker. Well, you've given me some hope at least. Glad to hear it. Please continue your tour, and I'll meet you by the clinic.
I will not allow anti-personnel mines there. Are you insane? What if one of the kids set one off? We'll teach them to stay away. We don't have enough guards to cover all... Ah, screw it. I know he means well, but we see things differently. Anyway. This is our clinic. Doc O'Neill runs it, assisted by Nurse Liu. I believe you met her back at the Trinity Churchfield Hospital. They're doing an emergency appendectomy inside just now, but you should visit them later. Of course. O'Neill told me he heard of a cache of medical supplies not far from here, supposedly untouched. If you want to help, securing that cache could make a big difference to us. Absolutely. I'll go take a look. Thank you. Now I need to go smooth things over with Kevin. Who the hell are these guys? Did they make that equipment themselves?
Agent, this is Kelly. Welcome back to the world of the living. Nope. There you are. Good to have you back. Good to be back. This is Agent Draper. Second wave, and a Texan to boot. A pleasure. We heard you had some trouble over by the supplies? Yeah, not sure who they were. Interesting outfits. Sounds like you met the latest addition to the deplorables of Manhattan. They call themselves the Freemen. We lack reliable help. That's over in the stockpile! An attack? Who the hell? We'll know when the dust settles. Kevin, you secure the perimeter. Angela, you best make sure the civvies are safe. Of course. On it! How about you check the rooftops while me and Draper clear the lower floors? Deal. 